Okay, folks, hey, welcome back to another live. You know what I mean? I'm going to give you guys a schedule right now. Listen, it's going to work like this. Every other Friday from this Friday on, I'm going to be doing a live. I'm trying to get them down to like about 30 minutes, right? So just try to keep them super simple, keep them instructed, instructive. You know what I mean? Got to give a little uh, information. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, stuff like that. So with that being said, look, today I'm getting ready to show you guys. You know what? We're going to make, look, these are just some honey garlic wings. Now, let's just go ahead and talk about, ah, here's the star right here. Okay, so if we was uh, doing it like that, you know, if it was a normal video, you know what I mean? We do the flyby, we talk about the ingredients and all of that. I'm going to go ahead and just name these because, look, I want you guys to look. I'm using that fresh ginger. Over here we got red chili flakes. We got, what's the name of this oil again? Sesame, Sesame oil. I don't know why I want to call it like, a you know, the fish oil. Sesame oil, you know what I mean, uh, over here. What's that again? No, I'm just messing around, y'all. I'm just messing with y'all. Look. Man, I better quit playing. That's what I need to do. Soy, we got cloves, honey, a little water. And listen, I want you guys to pay attention right here. I move all of this stuff over here on this side, like this, and it's really over here. This tells me when I'm getting ready, right, all of this, because it's going to be a dump and go, and we're going to build our sauce right here in that, right? And then I got my two seasonings right here. We got some raw. I've already patted them dry, cleaned them up and everything, and these are my wings. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set these off just for a second, right? I just want to get everything together. I'm going to go ahead and start... Let me just add a little bit of this salt right here, just a little bit. And I'm going to do something different. Okay, so look, I'm doing a lot of thinking as I'm doing this, right? In the beginning, I started talking about, like, you, it's, your method is how you want to do it. I'm going to do these in the oven. When you do them in the oven, you guys got to, uh, you can use a little bit of, like, uh, a cornstarch or, or, or baking soda, baking powder, anything like that, that'll, like, help it, like, crisp up. That'd be the challenge. And... This is why I moved it. I just want to show this part right here. Since my method today is going to be in the oven, I want to show you something. Let me see if everybody can see this. How's this camera over here on this side? We good? You, you see this right here? All right. This is going to be key. I don't know about y'all. You know what I mean? If you're in the kitchen as much as I am, I want you to take a look at this right here. This seems to look like it's new, right? I'm trying to keep it to look like this, especially because I make a lot of uh, videos, right? So look, this is going to be key. Stay with me. You hear that noise in the background? Y'all all know that sound. All right, that's the foil. I'm going to go ahead and just protect this, you know what I mean, because I want to keep this looking as, you know, new as possible. All right, so look, this is what we want to do. Go ahead and just get yourself your aluminum foil, right? And then don't forget, there's two sides to it. This the shiny side, this the dull side, this the side you want to have up. <clears throat> right, for those of you guys that didn't know, now you know. There's still a lot of people out there that didn't know that there's two ways you can go ahead and put down this uh, aluminum foil. Right? This is kind of like real exact right here, folks. But it's going to all make sense to you in just one second. So I do it like this. Right? Then I come with some wax paper and I just put this over the top. What I'm trying to do is just protect my, you know, my pan. Here, we put this over the top, you know, like a baking sheet that'll fit in the inside right here. Look, this allows for the heat to get underneath the bottom. You don't want to, like, put them where they're all touching. And I ain't going to lie to you, I done done that a many a times, right? But right now, we put them here, we space them out, and then we put them in. You probably, uh, you know what, March Madness is, uh, A is here, folks. So listen, you probably going to make two or three of these, you know, pans. Now, I'm going to set this off to the side. We're going to come back over here. Remember, I hit it with just a little bit of, uh, you know, kosher salt. That's a coarse blend. And you know what? I, I listen to a lot of my, uh, my, my comments, right? And a lot of people ask me, like, how come I don't use other salts? Listen, I'm real, real big into, hey, I got something for you. Before I even do it, let me show you something. I want you to take a look at this right here. Look, this is by Branch and Vine. And I got to say this, man, because it, it don't mean that much to myself, but it means a lot to other people, especially when you say you, you going vegan and this says bacon, right? This is a vegan product. This right here is fire, folks. If you ever get a chance to get this, you got you to gotta try it. I promise you, you won't go back. I'm going to go ahead and add some of that because it gives a nice, unique uh, flavor. It's got a lot of smokiness to it, if I can get it open, right? So we're just going to put a little bit on here. Look, I raise up. And when I say raise up, I'm talking about, like, leveling up everything, right? So 
So I just put this in here. Not a, it don't take no whole lot. It's not big. It's, it's really kind of like low in, it's low in sodium, too. You got to check it out. I'm going to set this right here. Listen, I'll put a link after this uh, live is over with so you guys can check that out. All right? Then I'll come with my powder. Put this over the top. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead. This is what I'm going to do. Just for the sake that I don't have to keep uh, people in the back, back, background making me laugh. Listen, uh, so I don't have to like just keep washing my hands because you know we're dealing with that chicken, right? I'm going to go ahead and put these gloves on. Now, let me see. Let me move this over here. Let's go to this camera right here. Can you guys see that right there? Yeah, I mean, this is what we're looking like, right? Now, just go ahead and take your dominant hand, whatever hand you want to use. You know what I mean? And you just want to get it to transfer over to each, you know, each individual piece. All right. You got any questions in there? Okay, so, okay, I'm not, uh, today, I'm not going to fry. Fry is the fastest way and probably, that would be my, my, the way I would like to do it. You know what I mean? Uh, if I wasn't doing this live, I would do it that way, right? But usually one, okay, but to answer your question, when I do it, I just use uh, canola. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, that's, that's usually my tool of choice when it comes to that. I know everybody say they want to get them high smoking point, uh, like grapeseed or, or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, it's expensive, you know what I mean? And then when you're making uh, chicken, especially when you're doing the wings, I'm telling you, just canola do just fine. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, let me just pick one up for you. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick up what I like. Bingo. I like them both, flats and drums. Hey, but you know what? It'll go one A, one B. You know we gonna leave with them flats. Flats is just like super easy. But for the meat, you know what I mean? Uh, I like to go ahead and use them drumettes, drums. Uh. When you say a side, you know, uh, I don't know. You know, that, to me, they're more like a finger food. You know, when I think about something like this, I think about a dip. Like, I would have these. I'd probably do some uh, mac and cheese balls. You know, put them out. It's kind of like just putting out an arrangement of uh, dips. All right? So, I'm going to go back to this camera over here. You guys can look. You could just see how the seasoning is just transferred and on all of it, right? Super easy, super simple. Now, I made this redundant. I just want to tell you, I got this. Listen, if you guys are going to be using a baking sheet like this, take this out. You don't need this. I mean, it kind of like helps because the foil didn't, you know, give you complete covers. And we got a seam right here, which I can see. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to show you how I did it here. If you're going, if you're going to do it a crispier way, like I'm saying, if we just, you know, mixing up and putting some uh, baking powder or something like that in there just to, like, mix it up and add that on there, then I would use the rack, you know, because we're looking for the super, you know, I guess the crispy, right? So now, I'm just going to take these and just line these right here just like this. Now, bear with me, folks. Usually when I'm making a video, you know what I mean, we ain't got to, like, wait till I get these all lined out. And then I'm going to say this. When I put them in the oven, I put them in the oven for about 20 minutes, you know, on you know one side, and then I flip them for about another 15 minutes on the other side. So knowing that, if I'm doing flats, I like to do the bottom side. You guys know what it is. The top side is more, you know, I guess smooth or whatever. So look, this is how we do that. All right, so you just find the bottom of those and that's where we start. You know why? Because I like for them to finish that last, that last 15 minutes, you know what I mean? Once we get to that temperature, you know, we go. All right? How do you think the real truth? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't, I don't, you know, some people do all of that, the lemon and all of that. When it comes to the, you know, the wings, that's super simple. I take them out, you know, I mean, I just, you know, I get them. I just run them under the water, you know what I mean, and I just get them, get any of that little light coating that they have on, the, you know, on top of them. That's all I do. Then I let them drain, and then what I do is uh, I pat them completely dry. None of that soap, none of that. All right, I guess uh, I got to remember, like, I'm not, you know, 
making a video, so I got to keep got to keep the convo going. Right? Remember, you want to find the, the ugliest side of the flat that you can find, and you want to start with that side up. And that's the only way I can say it. And you know, we all know what the bottom of one is. And I want to show you this. If you guys take a look at that right there, you see how like some of these drummets, they got these little pieces hanging off of there. You know what I mean? If I was doing a uh, if I was doing a catering gig, that's when I take the time to go ahead and start doing a trim job. You know what I mean? Outside of that, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, that's chicken. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, it's gonna be tender and good, like like the rest of them. But I do inspect them to make sure they don't have no hairs on them or nothing like that. All right, we almost done here. All right now we got them. Set these over here. Put that down. You guys can be able to, you guys can see them. I'll hold them here. You guys can see them on both different angles. You know what I mean? This is what we have. Then I stick it in the oven for 20 minutes, right? I'm going to set these right here because I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I mean? Uh, we, we press for time, right? So I'm going to do it like they do on TV. I already got the wings. I done already made them. Now it's time to make that sauce, All right? Now, when it comes to the sauce, real simple. Let me go ahead. Hey, and I know everybody always asks me, like, hey, what's up with that cooktop? Let me just get ahead of these questions that's coming in this video, too, right? I use a cooktop. I can use a stove. I got other food on the stove anyway right now, but I use the stove. I mean, I use my cooktop because it's easier to film with. You know what I mean? All right, go ahead. What you got? What is the purpose of drying the chicken? You know, it's really about trying to get a, uh, you want, you want, your, wing, you want your, your, your outer, like some people love like crispy. You're not going to be able to achieve nothing crispy. You're not going to be able to achieve the crispiness if it's like wet and soggy. You know what I mean? So I just go ahead and do that. I get them all, you know, completely dry. And that's when I apply like a rub or whatever else I'm going to apply to them. All right. So start with like a medium flame, right? I'll just bring all of my ingredients over here by me. And remember, when I started out, I told everybody, listen, you line all your ingredients out, you know, in the very beginning, it's not a chore. I'm going to show you what you don't want to do. Don't be this guy. As you cooking, you're like, oh, yeah, I need. And now you're over here, you know, looking for your ingredients. Don't do that. You know what I mean? Hey, you line them out. Just take the time. This will make it cool and, like, fun. And if you ask me, if it wasn't for the fact that we in this video, it might be some music in here right now. But that's the way I get down. Usually with a toothpick in my mouth, you know what I mean? I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Toothpick in my mouth, some cool lo-fi or something like some cool, you know, that I can just like cook with, and I go from there. Now, I'm going to start adding my ingredients. Right? And then, you know, I always say in my videos, listen, you got to wash as you go. You can't see right now, but I got that hot soapy water in there right now. You know what I mean? Hey, it's a must. You know what I mean? Because after I finish this, I don't want to like just have to look at all of these dishes and all of that. And I don't know how they do it at your house. We do it like this. Whoever cooks, you know what I mean? As long as I clean up behind myself, you know what I mean? Somebody else got to follow behind me and get the rest of them dishes. All right. I'm going to need you to lose that snap. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. You got a super chat. It says, about to use some of the steps in your collard recipe. Thanks again. Much respect and support, my guy. Hey, that's what, uh, hey, thank you. But but talk to me, though. Let, let, let's talk about that. Like, which one are you making? Are you doing the uh, the gumbo greens? Or did I let the cat out the bag? Did you had you had not seen the gumbo greens and you going with the you know just like the OG? I got uh, Auntie over there, you know what I mean? Hey, she making greens. Hey, listen to this, Auntie, she over here making greens in 30 minutes. I, hey, I had her make them for me right now. Then don't talk about it. Let's be about it. <laughs> now, I'm gonna let this come up just a little bit more with my temp. Adjust this. We'll let it just see if we can't get some kind of bubbles. I can, I can take some uh, calls right now. I mean, some uh, questions. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so when you say dropped, I mean, uh, I ain't dropped no food, but I, I've had failure. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll just say that. Look, I'm out here making, I was out here making, check this out. I was making an inch and a quarter cut pork chops. I'm showing out. I got the, you know, they, they film great. They hard to cook, but I, they film great. 
So I'm, I'm filming those during the live, got them in front of me. Got, you know, I pulled the first one off and it was ready to, it was just ready to go, right? Go to do the second one, got to talking, answering comments, forgot about it. Somebody had to come in and tell me like, hey, don't forget you doing that. I picked up the pork chop and it was as black as this burner right here. <laughs> you know what I mean, on the bottom. So yeah, I done had it, you know, it, it happens to everybody. You know what I mean, trying to do too much, that's all. AB, what is the hottest pepper or sauce you would use on your wings? Whew, now I'm probably not the right cat to even be asking that. I gotta let the cat out the bag. That you must not, you might be a little new here. I don't do all of that heat. When it comes to like, uh, hey, I'm scared of some of the Cajun dishes. You know what I mean? Uh, when you get my version, it's always a little bit light on the on the kick in. You know what I mean? Uh, so as far as uh, something hot, I just can't do it. You you gotta ask somebody. Maybe somebody uh, in the in the comments right now they can uh, do it. Now I'm just gonna add my ginger. I just like to add it when I got a boil. You know what I mean? All right. Much respect to the whole family, boss. What's up with a cookbook? Which one? Which one are you talking about? Your own. Oh, you okay. I'm going to release my a cookbook with me, a standalone by myself. It's going to release like at the end of the summer. You know what I mean? Uh, but the, the uh, part two to uh, Best of Both Worlds, we working on that right now. We should be finishing up, you know, really, really soon. That'll be dropping quick. Um, the super chat with the collard greens responded. He said he's using mustard. I'm using half kale and half collard turkey necks for smoked meat and adding with a little sauce. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got a question. You, okay, so you're doing mustard and you said kale? Okay, mustard and kale. You know what? Talk to me and let me know how that come out. You know, uh, I'm, I'm curious on that one. Uh, not really a kale fan, you know what I mean? Uh, a little bit more of, I guess, like a healthier. Not really sure how I feel about that uh, that texture, you know what I mean? And, okay, so look, what I want to tell everybody is, okay, so, look, are we looking inside the pot? Okay, if you're looking inside this pot right now, look, it'll boil up on you in a hot minute, you know what I mean? So, look, it'll start foaming and all that. I stay on top of that. I don't want it to boil over, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. Since seeing how these are a uh, honey garlic wing, Right? Okay. Have you thought more about a three or four ingredient cookbook? Uh, read it again. Just so I make sure I got it right. You know what? That's a great idea. You know what I mean? Uh, that might be something. Actually, that, that is a good idea. That might be something that uh, we could put together, like, you know, that I could work on, like, in the future. There's so much going to a cookbook. If you guys have gotten the one that we put out, you know, already, uh, that's great. We learned so much from that and put in a whole lot more time into this book that we're about to release. You know what I mean? Uh, and it'll set the standard for both he and I standalone books, too. So I think we're going to have something that, that'll even trump what we did before. And for all y'all out there, when I say trump, you know, about, you know what a trump is. So you got another super chat by Heavy Metal Chef. He said, I love you, brother. Heavy metal, hey, you know what, that's what's up, man. You know what, the, 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 the love and the, and, the, and the YouTube community, you know, like even if you guys are out here, hey, chef, when you build a community, you know what I mean, and uh, you build it organically, this is what you get, man. You know, uh, this right here is monumental, you know what I mean? I don't know how else to explain it, you know what I mean? Uh, just, it is what it is, you know what I mean? You're, you know, you're, I don't, I'm not gonna say your fans, this is like the people that support you and watch, they learn, so it's really all about giving some value. That's really what it is. And then last, I'm gonna add my, I didn't have to do it this way, but since we talking, I'm gonna just add it. That's my water, right? Then we're gonna go, all right. I'm sorry, I, I guess if you guys hear any, any pop, snap, or anything like that, somebody trying to get my attention, that's what it is. <laughs> so Terra Dome says, AB, how do you know when to raise the heat and when to simmer or lower? Okay, so if you're looking inside of here, I look at it, I could have added the water a long time ago. I'm talking, I'm really like stretching this out. You know what I mean? Uh, but I watch it and I just control it. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't want it to, really I just want to keep up with a simmer. That's what I'm looking for. So when it was starting to, you know, bubble, I mean boil like it was, you know, I would just adjust everything with the uh, with my burner and my flame. Right now I just want it to come to a boil. Now that we done added our water, and then we'll cook it down. All right. Okay. All right. I'm finna rush this because they in the back. Look. <laughs> you ever be cooking? Hey, I feel like I'm like a short order cook. You know what I mean? They just like, hey, they about ready to eat. They like 10 minutes. 
You know what I mean? So we just finna cook this down, reduce this down just a little bit. If I would have known that before I put all that water in there, I would have just did a, uh, a little bit of the water and then cooked it down. So I'm finna like rush this. Go ahead. Gumbo greens, is there a video you have? Oh, for sure. Hey, listen, okay, so this would be a great learning opportunity for everybody and this help everybody. Everybody that you watch have a YouTube channel. A lot of us, uh, we just watching it, you know, like, okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to use the, uh, the platform. Listen, if you, okay, so obviously you're watching me smoking and grilling with AB, right? So watching that, all you do is go to the home page. There's a search button on there, a search little spot. All you gotta do is type in gumbo green. You can do it gener you know, generically and you'll find it, but if you just put that in on the page, it'll search that page for that. Or you can even put green because it's the way we tag it and that works for everybody. So if you guys got your favorite person that you are watching or whatever, you wanna know have they ever made, that's all you gotta do is just Search on their page and you'll find exactly what they've done. But them gumbo greens, they fire. Notice how I don't put no lid on the top. I want to get rid of all of the, you know, all of the evaporation. I'm, we we want to uh, cook that down. Now I'll stay right here and watch it and just let it, you know, thicken up. Now, watch this. These are still a little warm. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. Hey, you guys gotta love the lives, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just the interaction. You know what I mean? You get to see how we move, you know, whatever. I like to see, when I'm in the kitchen with like two or three people, it's just the dance that we do and how we get down and do it. That, that right there I like. You know what I mean? So, just wanna cook this down. Look, I don't know if you guys can see these. Eh, it's not that warm, I, yeah, not that. So you can see, look, and I'll put them out there for that. That's what we're working with, right? So now, uh oh, sorry about that, y'all. So I'll just put them in like that, right? Now I want you to pay attention to this. Look at my cleanup. This is what I'm talking about. Hey. Now we working with the kitchen, right? You see this right here? Boom. That's what you want. Now I just hit that in the water, hit my rag, do my thing, dry it off. Matter of fact, I just set it up against this rag over here and let somebody else put it up. Okay. When did your love for cooking start? Was it something you loved doing as a child or something you picked up as an adult? Oh. Uh, you know, you know that's, a, that's a good question. I'm gonna say, I really kind of like picked it up more so as an adult. Been cooking forever though. Uh, been cooking, I don't want to say because I don't want nobody, well my mama, she passed away. I don't want no mama, nobody looking for my mama trying to call child uh, services on her. When I was high enough to see over the counter, my mama had me washing dishes and a little bit after that, then it was time to you know learn how to make something. And I, I've been cooking, I, I'll say probably since about seven, eight-ish. You know what I mean, making just a, you know, a few things. First cookbook I ever read was, uh, was uh, the junior, I think it's about Betty Crocker, uh, the, the, the junior cookbook, you know what I mean? Uh, then, hey, by the time I'm at the end of eight, going into nine, I was, when my mama was going to the store, I was giving her a grocery list, and after that, I had to start going with my mama, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So, I don't know, like, when I look back on it, I'm gonna say, yeah, I loved it then, but didn't know that I loved it. It wasn't until I got grown and I found out I can take care of myself, you know what I mean, and I can make these dishes, and everybody just loved everything that I was making. You know what I mean? That's when I started honing in on like, oh, I love this. All right, we're getting close, folks. And I'm trying to rush it, too. All right. Come on with the questions. You know what? While we're sitting here, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven. You know what I mean? So where we at on the bottom, huh? Lord. Yeah, Lord. Bake. 425, folks. You know what I mean? Let me just go ahead and hit the start. There we go. 425 degrees. Remember, 20 minutes on one side. We're going to go 15 minutes on the other. Go ahead for your snap. I can see you by your snap. <laughs> You're trying to hold yourself back. They, um, Angry Tater said, AB, just say it. You were born into this. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's kind of true. You know what? I know this is a live. You know what I mean? I'm not going to tear these wings up. This sauce, man, we got to like cook it down. 
Again, I just wanted to keep it down to like 30 minutes, you know what I mean? Just to talk, you know, connect with some of the people that watch me, answer some questions, you know, stuff like that, man. I think that's what's important. I say that's why YouTube is killing TV. I don't want to say it's killing TV, just in case TV looking at me trying to get me to do something, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep it, I'm going I'm to look out and say it the right way. But this is what makes uh, YouTube so great. It's the interaction that you get from your favorite, uh, whoever you're watching, your favorite creator. If you like wings, how do you feel about thighs? How do I feel about what? Thighs. Ah, man. Uh, come on now. Hey, this is like, I did this, man, because uh, I did this more so just thinking about keeping up with the theme. We just come up off the of Super Bowl. It's March Madness. I done moved out here to Vegas. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm loving that. So it's all around me. So I'm thinking appetizer, something like that. But, hey, you know, thighs, number one. You're talking about flavor. That's it. And I got something that I put on them thighs right here. That's crazy. I said, I got something to put on them thighs. You know what I mean? Ooh. Wee. I love food. Food is sexy. The conversation about it is sexy. The whole shebang. I put this, and I know it's a shameless plug for my rug, but this right here, this seasoning right here, this is what gets it. Hey, this is what gets the party started. You got a super chat, your mustard G recipe, but I'm using collards and kale. Okay. It, uh, hey, everything else is uh, golden. I really would like for you to give some description on, on that, uh, on, on like your end texture. I'd like to know like, how you like it. And I would like to know if you can describe just like the flavor. You know what I mean? I just never had much much success with kale. You know what I mean? I can I can smell kale when it's in the kitchen. Go ahead. Jim says, when are we going to start grilling outside? Ah, now we talking. Okay, so everybody that's in here right now, you can say you heard it. Those who watched the replay, I'm so glad that question came up. The name of the channel is Smoking and Grilling with AV. I got it. Every time you see me, I got some kind of dip, sauce, you know what I'm saying, something in the oven. Hey, you want to know something? Look, my auntie, look, me and her making something right now. We got barbecue spatchcock, but it obviously it's in the oven. You know what I mean? So the, this is the year that I make my mark and I do it, uh, I do it the right way. Hey, love it. Uh, actually, uh, starting, I think, Wednesday, I'll start making the videos and then I'm going to start dropping them. I think I'm finna go to like four videos. I gotta see how the schedule is, but I might be dropping two videos a week all the way till October as far as grilling go. Now I'm finally set up, got the time, got the right people behind me. And with me saying that, I just wanna say, hey, thank you to Nader. She's the one that's reading all of the comments. You know what I mean? And then we got Chris. He's the one that makes this all possible, you know, for us to do this. You know what I mean? So when you get the right people doing their job, you know what I mean? Uh, it makes it so that I can sit here, I can concentrate on this right here, because this is what I do, folks. All right. <clears throat> So, short answer, next week. <laughs> I, man, I, you know what? That's my number one question, like, especially with all the new people coming to my channel. Like, hey, when you gonna grill something? And the minute you gonna say, hey, what happened to the mac and cheese? Where the greens at? If I can't do them on that grill out there, I don't know where they are. All right. Constance Tiller says, hey, AB, I have a question. Do you have any recipes for vegetarians and low in salt? Uh... For vegetarians, I'm going to say no. More so, I got a few recipes on my channel that are uh, keto friendly. You know what I mean? Uh, but a vegetarian, uh, yeah, but it's not It's not for vet. Yeah, yeah. It, hey, listen. So, I got to say something. I love the live. I love it. I asked y'all, do you want to get in here with me? Nobody want to stand in front of the camera, right? So, but then, yet yeah, they can answer all the questions. You know what I mean? Uh, that tells me that you guys have been around here and you, you learn it. You know what I mean? Uh, they looking at it. I got a little Nate in the back right there. She just told me, hey, the fried cabbage will work. All you got to do is take out the sausage. This is true. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I, I might have just two or three videos that would probably be helpful, you know, good for a vegetarian. But I need to probably put a little bit more into that. But that's just not my expertise. And I don't be wanting to fake. You know what I mean? But that's a uh, good question. It's something for me to think about. You know what I mean? And uh, I could use some of these lives to like create something like that, you know, in the near future. Because I'm going to spend a lot of time with everybody uh, outside, you know, this summer, this spring and summer. Oh, you know what? Uh, I guess I'm not going to worry about too much about the time. I got a cap anyway. If you guys take a look, switch it over here to this camera right here. All right, look at this right here. You see, you could tell by, look, you could tell by the boil right there. That's what I'm looking for. That's telling me we start to cook up all of that loose, right? Let me see what we're looking like. Ah, we getting there. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I was going to end this without me going ahead and giving this a toss. You know what I mean? Uh, but we're going to just let this go. This is probably going to take maybe about another 
and maybe another two minutes, two or three minutes, and then I'll go from there. I can take some more questions, though. Hey, and you know what I want to say? Thank you to everybody just dropping their question in. You know what I mean? Hopefully, you know, we'll be able to get, you know, get to them. Since you're in Vegas, when is the pool party? Hey, I ought to turn that, hey, I ought to turn that camera around. Hey, everybody talking. Hey, whoever just asked that question, are you out this way? Because I ain't, I'm not that guy that uh, just want to try to keep everything secret. I'm ready to get that, I'm ready to be out there in that water all the way up. Y'all can get in the water and do all of that. Let me just go ahead and cook this. We serve these cocktails, you know what I mean? And uh, my auntie, she a lifeguard anyway, so she, she makes sure nobody drowns. <laughs> Soul Food Cooking says, where can we order the rub? Who? Soul Food Cooking. Whoo, what's up, fam? Okay, so look, after this, what I'll do is, you guys look at the number one comment. We'll go ahead and pin that. This is where you can pick up the rub. And I gotta show it this way. I'm gonna show it to this camera here. And I got it, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, some people, you know, they put in the comments like, hey, you pushing your product. Yeah, I push my product. I stand by my product. It tastes great and I cook with it. It took me a long time before I even really felt comfortable because I didn't want to push it. But this is, uh, it's good. It's low sodium. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the B. Now I'm going to read it to you like this. This is the A. The, this is from my Level Up series, right? Pork, poetry, poultry, fish, and whatever else you want to put it on, right? The B. This is from the Level Up series. This over here, you got your brisket. This is for your heavy meats. You know what I mean? So look, I'm gonna do it like this. And I tried to like do something and make it a little slick. I hope you guys can see that. You see if I do like this? If you guys pick up the A and the B, now you got me in your cabinets. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, why not have A, B with you when you cooking? I promise you, you can't go wrong. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Mitzi says, shout out to Nada and Chris. <laughs> What's up, Mitchie? Mitchie out there trying to run and take care of a whole lot of stuff down there in uh, California. You know, Forrest, thank you. Now I got this nice and thick now. Oh, yeah. You got a super chat from Leonard Family Fun. They said, thanks for sharing all your recipes. Appreciate it. You know, uh, thank you, guys. I got to say it two ways. I've never been the one that just because somebody gave a super chat, you know what I mean? They always above and beyond, right? I say thank you to them, but I thank you to everybody that just ever looked at that, you know, just looked at the video that's in the video now and even took the time to hit the like or subscribe. You know what I mean? So just thank you to everybody. What I'm gonna do now is just add just a little bit of water to this. Scott Stevens says, hey, can you bring some to the track? <laughs> What's good, fam? Hey, you know what? I can barely cook right now, bro. I know you laughing right now. Hey, that's my that's my homeboy. That's, hey, he's, Hey, he an NFL star, you know what I mean? Uh, but he, he raced cars with me. Uh, hey, I can barely cook right now because you know that's what I'm thinking about, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, we were talking about it before this. Everybody wanted to know how was I so calm. I said, I'm about to be in that seat, man. Xander D-Dog says, my family and I love to imitate your signature move, the wiping of the face with the paper towel. Oh, hey, look, I'm hot right now, so I got something for you. Woo! You know what I'm saying? I really got to, you know what I'm saying? And, and pat it down, get it like this, straighten out my ball cap, make sure my swag is right, you know what I'm saying? And, and do me. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, now we got that. Now look, I'm not gonna use all of this, you know, right now, because obviously I gotta use a little, have a little bit over here. You guys get to just. It's just about me taking the sauce, putting it in here, and just tossing it, right? You can hear. Well, they, you see, they wasn't hot. I was able to touch the pan, so it's been a minute since they out. But you can hear a little bit of the, right? You can hear, hear that? They not as soft, right? So I'll just add just a little bit to this like this, you know. Don't need much, you know? And then we just toss it. And did anybody get uh, sesame seeds? Do we have any sesame seeds? What do you think? Well, I'm gonna I'm need them. You know what I mean? You guys get to judge though. This is it right here. I don't know which camera looking at it. I'll show these. You know what I mean? Once they coat it, Stay with me, folks. We are, uh, we waiting. Maybe we don't have no sesame seeds. 
Oh, we do. All right. <clears throat> so when it comes to the sesame seeds, you can just put them on the top, right? I can also get myself a pan. Check this out. It depends on how you're doing and how flossy you want to get with it, right? It does add a little bit more of a taste to it. When they're playing like this, I can tell you I done had these. I done broken with my teeth, all that. They don't really taste like nothing to myself. But it's really like for the garnish, right? I can do some greenery, sprinkle that on there along with this, give it another toss, and it's ready to be plated. plated. But I can take a little salt, uh, another pan, small pan. Don't put no spray in there, no nothing. You sprinkle this in there and just keep moving it around like you're making popcorn. And then what we doing? We toasting these. That's when you start getting some flavor. Do it with Jay Wade said, now we need a YouTube short of how to do the AB wipe correctly. Hey, you know what? Dude, always kicking like some real gems right there. Hey, you know what? I told y'all I need a YouTube manager. That's who I need. Jay Wade, Jay Wizzle. So you guys that don't know who that is, listen, that's my brother-in-law. Me and him started this together. You know what I mean? Uh, he's doing his services to the country right now. But that cat right there, that's my guy. Like this. Mitzi said, cue the slow-mo music, LOL. <laughs> I don't know why, Chris. So we're going to cue the music. Huh? Oh, you got it? Oh, they playing, folks. Hold on now. Hold on now, anime. Just eat the cake. How many of y'all know what that's about right there? So I'll just give it a little toss. I'm trying to make sure that I don't drop none or flip none on the floor. But this is it right here. If I, I just put them in the plate and we go ahead and eat them. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and eat me some and put these others in there, and then I'm going to end this. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Mm. Somebody asked me what's my favorite part. I went right to a flat. <laughs> <laughs> How many people know what I'm going to say, how do you taste right here? What's the word that I use? Mm. Anyway. Even before somebody said, No doubt. These is mine. These is fire. Mm. Nice. Well, you guys, look. I'm not going to... Trying to find out, like, hey, did anybody make any Kool Aid? You know what I mean? Uh, mm, it's gonna be a good night tonight. All right, with that being said, let me just say, hey, thank you guys for coming. Thanks for the comments. You know what I mean? Uh, every other week, I'm gonna drop a live, try to keep it down to 30 minutes. You know what I mean? Just to connect, we can talk, answer questions. And I think next time, somebody will talk to me and be like, hey, B, about that time that you didn't, uh, about time you didn't start doing that barbecue. Hey, with that being said, thanks for watching this. My oven is ready. I'm about to drop those in there. And guess what, folks? You know how I leave. I'm out.